We are, or I am, with my friend, who remains anonymous because he's ugly. Um, we're gonna go to Fresno and compete. My meet is tomorrow, um, and the drive is gonna be like three hours long, four hours long. We'll see because there's like traffic and everything, there's an accident. So, yeah! Up. We have stopped for a little break. I got had a protein bar um, and then eating some mangoes. We have um, about an hour left until we reach our destination. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Airbnb. Um, this is what it looks like. So we have the entrance, everything, a big bed, and then ow, and then the bathroom, which is super nice. Like this is huge. It has two shower heads, bathroom, and stuff. And yeah, we're gonna stay here for a night, and then it's five o'clock. Chill a little bit. I'm really tired. Um. Yeah, so we're just gonna sleep and get ready for me day tomorrow. And I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. What's up, guys? We are in this Pad Thai restaurant where I'm waiting outside. My friend's getting the foods. I got some Pad Thai and, um, wait, not even Pad Thai. I got Drunken Noodle. He got Pad Thai and some egg rolls and some pineapple fried rice. I am currently super tired. 7.47 p.m. and I need to go to sleep because I'm waking up at 6 a.m. tomorrow because weigh-ins are at 7 and then lifting starts at 9 and the competition is at 2. So, yeah. More drunken noodles and then, well, it's good. Pineapple rice and then the pad thai and then the egg rolls. Mmm. This is a mountain of food. What the heck? Damn. See you tomorrow. Morning, meet day. I'm like 0. 0.6 pounds, now 0. 0.6 pounds overweight. So I'm spinning in a cup. I've never <laughs> wake up before. Um, so that's what I'm doing. We're a little bit late. We're gonna be at like 7.10, weigh-ins are at seven. We'll see how it goes. I didn't sleep too well last night. I like woke up at like two. I slept at 11.30 and then I woke up at five today. But I feel great. Let's get this bread. Hey guys, so we made it to the gym. This is what it looks like. Right there. So we just finished like bench, uh, bench heights and squat heights. And then the whole thing is outdoors. And then we're gonna do weigh-in soon. And then my friend is not here, but um, we're gonna weigh in soon. Weigh ins end at 8 30. Um, I'm like 0.5 pounds over the last time I checked, but we'll see. I'm hoping that I make weight. Made weight exactly at 72 kg. Do you want to be in my vlog? Sure. It's Nick, he's gonna be handling me and everything. Are you gonna tell them about your pad thai last night? You... So, yeah, me and me and my <laughs> friend Jordan had pad thai, and it was not a good idea. Um, I weighed in like 0.8 pounds over. And then, yeah, I'm perfect 72 kg. I like stripped down completely naked. It was fine. It's a great, great way to meet somebody. Pull, yeah. out, pull out that stuff, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. Okay. We're warming up. We're going to start lifting at 9.15. Um, opening with 247 pounds. Um, there's only going to be one flight just because everybody is all, there's only like 14 lifters here today. Right. 
I just finished my first attempt for squat. Um, the, it was weird because like the height was like super high, and I thought I was like, why the fuck is it so high? So I had to adjust it. Anyways, the second time is gonna be um, one. I think it's gonna be like 265, something like that. Um, but yeah, it was okay. I just was like thrown off by the height. Um, there's only 14 lifters, and I'm gonna go third on the second attempt. I'm feeling pumped. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Tiffany. You got this, Tiffany. I went like a, like 0 0.2 or some like 0 0.5 kilograms a little bit higher than my second attempt Got some ammonia, did it, felt good It looked like a second attempt so I think it was just like the rack height that was fucking me up But now we got bench And I'm super excited because it's my favorite lift Okay cool <laughs> We have 20 more minutes until bench starts um, I warmed a little bit too early. I was like, so I'm gonna just do singles at 135. But look at this gym, it's so aesthetic. Ooh, so nice, so nice, so nice, so nice. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? Yeah. Hot. It's hot? It's actually not bad. It's like what, it's like 100? Only a hundred. Said one thirty-five. The little like safety thingies are like a little bit in the way. So we're just gonna push the seat back and try it again. We still have like twenty minutes until lift start, and I'm so I'm not even going first. Attempt. We got like 15 minutes left until bench. This is our food stash, by the way. Got rice cakes, bunch of donuts, red wine, bunch of junk food, you know. Wait, don't forget to. Nick has the caramel coconut Oreos. Yep, they're too sweet. Got my ammonia, the bloobs. You just call them bloobs? Bloobs, yeah. That's mildly good. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Like barely moved off. There was like a really big ass beetle 
in front of me, so that kind of threw me off a little bit. It was um, all the beetle. It was, it was all the beetle. beetle. That beetle, <laughs> that beetle shows up again. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna reattempt the same way. less than halfway but it's okay 182 I hit 170 at the gym it's fine um, we're gonna do deadlift and then we're gonna wrap it up big deadlift right now I lowered my attempt a little bit because I'm like hella tired all right we're gonna warm up boom shakalaka I hold it. I need to hold it. Stop it. Don't miss that command. It's fine. It was good. I mean, it was kind of slow, but we're gonna do one, two, seventy pounds for the second attempt. Two seventy pounds for the second attempt. Um, yeah. I'm like honestly like tired, but I'm I'm not tired. I'm gonna say I'm not tired, so I'm not gonna be tired. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Go. Easy. Great lift, Tiffany. Bar is loaded for Tiffany. You got this, Tiffany. Come on. Let's go. Great Tiffany, great job. Up next we have Kirsten on deck Alexa. Let's finish the meet. Um it's pretty good. Went three for three on deadlifts. Ended it with 280 something. Um honestly it was like pretty tired, so like I didn't really like I just kinda like gripped it and ripped it um kind of thing. But I'm pretty happy. Um kinda like on squat. It wasn't super great, bench wasn't super great, but I ended strong, so that's all that matters. Anyways, it's super hot. Gonna finish the meet and then we're gonna do award awards and food. The second place, my friends pissed. <laughs> there was what, only like two people in my weight class, but this is for second. Too. Okay, we're gonna go take some pictures and probably get some food. Um, but thanks for watching. Probably do some more recap when I get back. And all right, so I'm doing a recap, but it's midnight of meet day and. Honestly, just like looking back at the meet and just like thinking about it, I don't, I don't know, I feel like more discouraged. Like I don't feel like it was something that I, like definitely not my best, definitely not my best work. Like I could have done so much better, especially with bench. I don't know really what happened. I think it was just like I didn't sleep enough or um, I didn't eat enough. I was also really stressed because I didn't really have um, really a coach that kind of knew me and knew how I lifted and that I trained with consistently so that also kind of threw me off um, But overall, yeah, I mean I want to say like this meet was Definitely not what I wanted for sure. Like it was so shit 
I mean, like, I was trying to, like, keep an open mind and, like, hey, like, it ended good and stuff, but I had high standards for myself and I didn't reach them. But I think this is a really good turning point because I feel like I've just learned so much with, like, fucking, like, everything. Just, like, organizing, planning, knowing your strengths, knowing not to be cocky and to just, like, just put numbers on the board and really just keep keep things simple and basic and just like sticking to the foundation like my sleep was kind of shit my nutrition was kind of shit and that's why my performance kind of like was shit so overall this powerlifting meet wasn't what i wanted i spent a lot of time uh, even during covid just like going through hurdles to work out and train and it wasn't what i wanted at all but you live and you learn i am hoping to compete soon um like there's a meet um later this year it's um boss of boss of barbell in mountain view it's november late november so we'll see um but yeah i mean this is definitely one for the books it's definitely something that i have so much to learn from and i think everybody that has been there to support me um friends acquaintances um even my coach um, a lot of everything in powerlifting has been dedicated to my coach and um even during the meet i was like thinking about him like thinking about all the things that he said and taught me and everything um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog um sorry if the audio is kind of shit um but i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>